All right, guys, today is the day we're getting back to the John boat, at least just for today. Um, I still have another trip coming up in a few days, so I'm not gonna be going too crazy. But today I want to get the first and second coat of paint on the boat. You're probably thinking, what am I talking about paint? Well, I'm going to be painting all these lids. Check out that catfish. I got my foot pedal tray here from tbnation.net. So we need to unbox this. I want to go ahead and paint all the edges of the lids and the inside of the lids and also paint all the framing. So everyone was like, I should add gator guard to the framing to make it all black. I didn't have any gator guard. People were also telling me to paint it all black and it would make it look so much better. And I agree. It would make it look better. Then I got the idea to paint it white. So I'm going to be painting it all white. And I also figured out what color foam I want to use. So I told y'all before that my favorite boat is a center console fiberglass boat. The boats you see out in Florida, those boats are so sick. It's almost like a skiff. I just love skiffs. So I figured, you know what? Let's bring that aspect into this and uh, let's paint it all white and let's do a light gray foam and it will be pretty sick i found some pictures of boats that i really liked and this is kind of what i'm going off of these pictures here so you see the white fiberglass underneath and then you also have the gray foam so this boat right here is like perfect for what i want to do so that is my goal for this boat i'm going to leave the outside red hopefully that will look good i think it still will look good but uh i'm probably going to paint the lip of the boat white or even maybe even black we'll see i saw a few boats that had the black lip with the gray and the white on the inside and it looked pretty good but i was bouncing back between multiple colors and multiple kinds of the foam to put on the deck and it was kind of a hard choice i chose one changed my mind chose a different one changed my mind again and I finally landed on the self-routing foam. Michael Lopez, he self-routes his own foam. And uh, I guess he inspired me because I'm going to do it too. I went out and got the cheapest router I could find on Amazon. So we got the router. So I'm going to self-router the entire boat. All the lines make it look pretty sick. The top of the boat is going to be the light, cool gray color. And then everywhere that I route is going to be white. So let's go ahead and open up this foot pedal tray. Make sure she fits. Should be perfect. Okay. Oh no, it's bent. Of course I can bend it back, but that sucks. It's hard to ship aluminum and it not bend from people throwing the boxes and whatnot. Good thing I'm painting it, right? Because that's going to mess up the powder coat. All right, that's straight enough. But here is the foot pedal tray. And like I said, I got the measurements from Nate, so it should fit perfectly right in this little pocket here. Beautiful. That should work. All right, so this is where the foot tray pedal is going to go, somewhere in this area. Most likely it will be somewhere around there. All right, so before I paint, I'm going to rough up the edges with some sandpaper. Just scratch up the surface so paint can stick to it. All right, time for a time lapse. This is gonna be a while. All right, so I got the entire thing sanded down. I got all the edges sanded, the frame sanded. Got it all wiped down, vacuumed out, it is ready for paint. So, let's just go ahead and start painting. Once again, we're using white, oil-based enamel. This is the high hiding white gloss color. Woo, that's gonna be clean. Speaking of clean, people are probably gonna say, why are you using white? It's gonna get dirty, and you're gonna be able to see it. Well, actually I was gonna do black first, and black versus white black shows up way more dirt if it's dirty it shows up way easier than white does so uh actually i'm better off using this white compared to black if you have a black vehicle 
then you know how dirty it can get. But uh, here we go, first dip of the paint. So once again, just gonna be painting the edges and the inside of the lids. Another good thing about this oil-based enamel is it can fill gaps and whenever it dries, it like lays itself flat. So it hides all the creases and all that stuff. It fills up gaps pretty good and it just comes out looking really, really smooth, so. after about three coats of paint. It is not done. I still have quite a bit of paint to do, but it's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. So we got all white. I even went ahead and threw on the door guard back on this lid and it looks pretty good. I'm going to be painting these arms right here red. So it kind of hides all that. It blends in with the wall. Also, I went ahead and painted this wall here white because there's gonna be light right there and that is going to help reflect the light back in this direction outside the AR. There is the lid that was once black. As you can see down there, there's still some black showing through. So I still probably need to do about two more coats at least and get it all looking good. But uh, man, I'm digging it. The white is looking good. Looks really good with the white camo. And uh, that's probably the color of my foam I'm gonna get on top, is that gray. So it's gonna look pretty good, man. Pretty stoked about it. I still need to paint this, but right now I'm using it as a stand with this can here for this lid. But I'm painting over the hinges and I'm not having any problems with them sticking, so that's good. I am leaving the top of it not painted so the foam can still stick to it. And dude, it looks pretty good. Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Was the white the right move? I think it was. It's like a totally different boat. Here she is. I'm trying to give y'all different views. I only have two coats on these walls. I painted those last. Still need to add foam onto these walls. I'd probably add foam there as well. Uh, these walls over here are gonna stay like that just cause it's gonna be so much work messing with, around with all the ribs and these arms or legs sticking down. So that's just gonna stay red. But I decided to paint all this white right now in these next few days because tomorrow I'm actually leaving on another big trip. So tomorrow I'm heading out to Lake Havasu, Arizona, which is like 12 hours from me. Gonna go meet up with Michael Lopez from Tiny Boat Nation, go hang out with him, do some fishing. They got some big old fish in Lake Havasu. So I'm excited for that. But we're also going down there to film a tiny boat race. Tiny boats, they haul butt, they turn fast. It's pretty sick, but uh, we're gonna go film that. And then once I leave Lake Havasu, I'm heading down to California. Gonna go do some fishing in California. I never technically been to California before. I've been on the border, but uh, it doesn't count. Never caught a fish in California. So uh, I'm hoping to check off California from all the states I caught fish in. Also, I'm gonna go meet up with Jonathan from the Okuma team. So that's gonna be awesome. I may get to go get a tour of something of the Okuma factory. I'm not sure what they have out there in California. Do a whole bunch of fishing with him. He said he has some kayaks we can take out. I'm also meeting up with a subscriber. I'm gonna be giving him this live well. Also, I may even go check out Hollywood, LA, that whole scene, cause it's pretty cool. Go check out some beaches since I'll be there. And then once I leave California, I'm heading to Las Vegas, baby. Never been to Las Vegas. It's one of the dream locations to go to. So I'm gonna be a tourist, go check all that out. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a huge trip. So uh, that's pretty much why I started to paint 
the John boat now because this paint can take a while to dry. But yeah, guys, here is a quick update on the John boat. This is where it sits. And then tomorrow I'm heading off to Arizona, then California, then Las Vegas. It's gonna be an awesome trip, guys. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.